Computer System Unit, Their Parts and Functions Of course, the first part of it is the system case. It is called as a chassis or enclosure. It is the metal and plastic box that houses the main components of the computer. The role of the system case are for solid structural framework that protects and fits all internal parts. It protects the internal parts. For cooling, it is well ventilated to secure internal parts. Style and sizes of the computer system case. Number one is the full tower case. This is the last largest standard case measuring two to three feet high. It is the most flexible and expandable case with many base support. It provides most cooling support. That's why it is expensive. Next is the mid tower case. It is smaller than full tower but similar in features. This is the most common used case. It contains two to three internal drive bays. Next is the mini tower case. Usually has two to three internal drive bays. This is the normal stand for 12 to 18 inches. Now let's go to the parts of the system case. From its back panel, the first period, I mean picture to your right, is the power in button, audio jacks, PS2 ports, serial port, the VGA port, display port, USB port, RJ45 Ethernet port. Next picture, starting from your left, we have the power port, keyboard, the USB, serial port, monitor, gaming port, network port, telephone port, line in port, S video out, the mouse port, another USB to your, this is to your right already, the printer parallel or the parallel port, the speaker port, microphone port, telephone line out port, FM reception, and the cable for TV. And this is um, from the side panel. You can see the internal part of the system unit. Okay, so to your left, we have the power supply the chip, the fan, or the CPU fan, the video card, modern card, sound card. Next to your left, you have the CD or DVD drive, you have the dry, hard drive, the motherboard behind all that cables, the power cord, the ribbons, or the SATA cables and the extra case fun okay let's go one by one to the parts of the motherboard okay so this is the parts of the motherboard let's talk about it one by one the motherboard is considered as a main circuit of the computer it contains the connectors for attaching additional boards. It is the printed circuit board that is the foundation of the computer and allow the CPU, RAM, and all the other computer hardware to function and communicate with each other. This is the 4-pin CPU fan pinout. The 4-pin connectors are usually used by CPU fans with higher power consumption. The 12V 4-pin CPU power connectors. This device senses the CPU voltage requirements, usually via sense pins on the processor, and calibrates itself to provide the proper voltage to run the CPU. The 24-pin ATX power connector 
originally the motherboard was powered by one 20 pin connector current version of atx 12v 2.x power supply provides two connectors for the motherboard a four pin auxiliary connector providing additional power to the cpu and the main 24 pin atx2 power supply connector an extension of the original 20 pin version the front panel connector the front panel connector is where the connectors of hard disk drive activity lights case speaker reset button power on and off button computer power on lights and key locked are connected to make them function smoothly types of system panel cables so we have the hard drive activity led reset switch and the power led power switch okay so you can see all the connectors of it hdd led or the id led ide led um this led activity light for the hard disk drive this is the led that flashes as information is being written and read from the hard drive the power led or the p led is the led light which indicates when the computer is on off or in the standby mode the power sw control the power button that allows you to turn on and off the computer the reset sw is the Hand handles it handles the reset button to restart computer bios short for input output system the bios um rom bios or system bios is a chip located on all motherboards that contains instructions and setup for how your system should boot and how it operates. CMOS battery. This is used to keep the clock chip running even when power is off. That's supposed to be double F off. North bridge. The North Bridge is a chip inside the computer that connects the central processing unit to primary components in the system. These components include the RAM, the FSB, PCI Express card, and the AGP card. While the South Bridge, on the other hand, is the chipset that handles all the computer's input-output functions such as the USB, audio serial system, system BIOS, the ISA bus, the interrupt controller, and the IDE channel. Integrated circuit. This is um, also called as monolithic integrated circuit. I mean circuit is a set of electronic circuits on one small plate or semiconductor material normally silicon this can be made such smaller than a discrete circuit made from independent components capacitors it is used to store energy in an electric field usb heater is a group of pins typically on a computer motherboards or expansion card to which the internal usb cable can be attached to provide extra usb ports typically one heater is a group of two usb ports id slots or the integrated drive electronics is a drive con controller on your motherboard that supports both hard drives and cd Rome and DVD ROM devices and all their different varieties. Fluffy disk slot. Of course, this is a fluffy disk slot, is what you put the fluffy disk in or on a CPU. Okay, memory slot. A memory slot or memory socket or the RAM slot is what allows computer memory to be inserted into the computer pci slot it provides a, ma a medium 
to expand the capabilities of the PC by adding like modern, modem cards, audio cards, and the Ethernet card. PCI slot or AGP slot is one of the types of video card available. AGP card are automatically detected as in-built video cards when connected to a GP slot of system. They provide better resolution than onboard or integrated video. So this is an AGP slot. CPU or the central processing unit is the hardware within the computer that carries out the instructions of a computer program by performing the basic arithmetical, logical, and input-output operations of the system. CPU socket. A CPU socket or CPU slot is the mechanical components that provides mechanical and electrical connect between a microprocessor and a printed circuit board or PCB. CPU fan is a fan that attached together with a heatsink on a motherboard. CPU fan is used to prevent overheating of the processor on the motherboard. And on the other hand, this is the heatsink, a mass a passive heat exchanger component that cools a device by dis dissipating heat into the surrounding air. It is used to cool central processing unit or the graphic processor. These are the back panels and input output connectors. This is also attached on the motherboard. So let's discuss one by one. The parallel port. It's a type of interface found on computer for connecting peripherals. It is also known as a printer port or centoronic port. This is, a, this is the PC2 connectors or ports, a 6-pin mini DIN connectors used for connecting some keyboards and mice to a PC-compatible computer system. Serial ports, okay, so we have the female and the male. Usually what is attached on the motherboard is the male serial port. A serial port that can be connected to numerous devices, pretty much any device that has another serial ports. It is a serial communication physical interface through which information transfers in or out one bit at a time. This is the Ethernet port. Let me correct that. This is an internet Ethernet port, network connection, or network plan. The LAN port, it is a port connection that allows a computer to connect on the internet. USB ports, or universal serial bus port. A system designed for the accessories of the computer system. It allows you to hot swap any devices that is designed for the port. Audio ports used um, for a receptacle or jack to which an audio device such as speaker, headphones, or microphones can be connected. VGA ports. This is a videographic array connectors. It's a three row 15 pin DE15 connectors used to connect in video cards, computer monitors, and high definition television set. 